This is a really quick tutorial to just show you how to get multiple exposure effect images in um, Photoshop. So a bit like this image we've got here, so um, it's made up of two photographs. You can see I've got my background image, um, which is a picture of um, this town centre in Krakow, and then on top of it I've got um, a picture of a post box in the Vatican. Um, and together they've kind of combined to make a multiple exposure thing. It's a really, really quick technique. So if I just show you quickly um, with a couple of other images. Um, so I've got an image of the Giant's Causeway taken from above it and then one taken really close up um, down on the ground next to it. So I'm just going to stretch it so it's filling and covering right across the top of um, that bottom image. Um, that won't always work, so you might need to sort of resize and scale um, different sections of your image. Um, if you want to get the effect sort of all over. Um, and I'm just going to quickly place that. All you do is go into these layer options here. Um, so to just open them up, um, you just click on the little arrows either side of it, scroll down until you see screen and select um, the screen option and straight away um, you'll see that background image starting to appear. Um, at the moment it's um, a little bit confusing, you can't quite see um, the background image as strong as you'd, I'd want to. Um, so you just need to change the opacity of the layer. So if you just scroll down and move that down to, um, it will depend on your image. This one I think sort of here around sort of 56, between sort of 50 and 60, um, looks best. And then you can, um, then you get that sort of double exposure effect. Um, it's not a technique that you have to use just for um, photographs though. Um, you can use it with um, drawings as well. So I've got a couple of um, sketchbook um, scans that I'm just going to quickly drop in um, of some aeroplanes um, and again I'm just going to stretch that out um, and so it's exactly the same technique um, whatever you're using um, and again just changing that opacity down once you've um, started to do it so obviously this is an effect that could be quite good if you want to um, do different painted effects um, onto paper and then maybe place a line drawing over the top so you can do it all by hand and then just quickly um, layer them in Photoshop to create these quite quick nice flattened images okay so that's just um, a little sketchbook example and then a couple of images um, so it's a really really quick simple technique